So this year, uh, um, again, it's a very, very new thing for us. Um, so a few years ago, probably five or six years ago, uh, a guy here in Stelzer at European Molecular Biology Lab sort of resurrected a very old idea called plain illumination microscopy, where um, instead of exciting light fluorescence in a sample through the same objective you collect it with, you actually bring the light in a plane from the side. And by doing that, you really confine the excitation to just the part of the sample that's in focus. And you don't get any excitation in the parts that are out of focus. And that's, that, that out of focus excitation is a big problem in both wide field and confidence. So by doing that, you, you sort of eliminate that problem. But at the smaller scale, the problem is, is to cover a field of view with that, you need to have pretty thick light sheets okay, on the order of anywhere from 3 to 10 microns. Okay, and on the scale of a cell, that's pretty big. So you end up getting sort of single cell resolution, but you don't really get to see the details of the cell. And so I wanted to see if we could use the same idea in some way to see those details. And so, um, so there was a guy in the late 80s who came up with something called vessel beams, which are sort of these non diffracting very thin pencils of light. And I said, okay, that seems like a perfect marriage of that to, uh, to plane illumination. So that's what we have in the back room, is a vessel beam plane illumination. We probably got our first results on fixed cells. I mean, maybe February for the very first ones, but the first decent ones might have been, ooh, I'd say, April, okay? And our first live cell result, results were probably one week ago. So it's really at that sort of, you know, very bleeding edge, but at a really good time to just be at a place where all sorts of world-class cell biologists can throw everything they can think of at it, and we can learn by trial by fire in terms of what works, what doesn't, what we need to improve, and so forth. With the palm, we were really kind of um, in the physiology course upstairs and, uh, and integrated with Jennifer there. Here, we're actually trying to integrate to two courses. So the reason we're in the microscopy facility instead of um, with neuro or physiology is we're really working with both. So Jennifer is an instructor in physiology, Jim and Kathy are instructors in neuro, and so we have students on rotation working with Jim and Kathy on the vessel, and Jennifer has students working from physiology on the vessel. Nothing, you know, deep and really focused yet, it's just kind of looking around to see what works and what doesn't. I don't know how much